So we just got the wings. Now where are you gonna put them? That is, it did make the garage quite a bit smaller. How did the driver do? Did he uh, drop anything this time like no. the first driver? This driver was like a professional. It was. So it's a very <laughs> different company who delivered our wings. Uh, when you have quick build kits sent to you, you kind of have two options. You can spend more money on crating and have it completely crated up and delivered via, I guess, more traditional freight like we're used to with our slow build kits. Uh, or you can save some money on crating, but spend more money on delivery. Pay that premium. Uh, and a, there's a specialty shop, uh, Stewart uh, Transportation. Yes. Uh, who they specialize in moving, I guess, luxury cars and race cars around the country. Uh, Vans has had a very long relationship with them, and they uh, just attach the wings to the inside of the trailer uh, out of the way. Uh, strap them down, get the crate strapped down, and they just bring them to you as is. And there mm. was not a scratch on them. They were well packed. The driver was phenomenal. You can tell he cared for those wings all the way from Oregon down to us. I <laughs> uh, got stuck in one or two snowstorms on the trip here. I know he called me. He's like, I was hoping to be here Monday or Tuesday, but I'm not getting out of, uh, I think it was in Idaho, then Colorado, um, stuck in snowstorms. I appreciated the communication. Oh, he was, I mean, clear, clear communication. There's not a moment that I didn't have a good set of expectations. And I knew from the first time that he called and we talked that they were in good hands. Now, I did think that we were going to carry the wings down the driveway and just put it in. I really wasn't planning on rolling the cart out, but the driver, he, he kind of... I think he'd done it a few more times than you. <laughs> yep, I don't think he wanted to carry both wings. <laughs> um, so with that nice cradle that we built, what did you think of that, did it work? Yes, it was good, good handiwork. Good handy, yeah, it, it, it fit like a glove right in there. I was like, D were they gonna be wide enough? Was did, did we do it right? I know that we used plans off of the uh, RV-10, so we kind of shortened it a little bit. Worked just perfect. So what all came, what all did we get? We just got two big wings, right? We got two big wings. Was not expecting the huge crate that came with them. Not a whole lot in that crate. Not a lot, but I still wasn't expecting a crate. <laughs> but not like it was just a crate. What else did we get? We also got um, fully built flaps and airlines. And, and big boxes by themselves. So it came two big wings. Two big boxes and a big crate. Yeah. That was, um, I'm glad that's a lot of building we don't have to do. It is. It's a lot of building we don't have to do. But now we have to find a place to keep it until we're ready to. Yeah, so we've got it shoved over there in the corner. Um, we will need to go through the steps. So what, what, are, what are the steps after we got it? What did we do? Uh, we did a quick inventory. Oh, quick. <laughs> nothing quick about inventory but and we haven't gone through the plans to do any sort of checkoffs yet yep. so that's definitely on the list so the instructions said there are no specific quick build instructions you get the full set of instructions and we get to go page by page step by step and make sure it's all done so they they do that for two reasons one is you need to get familiar with all the steps so you know where all the parts are as the builder but two we're double checking the work. Uh, we've heard stories of missing nut plates and a missing rivet here or there. You really don't blame the quick builders too much unless they forgot something in a spot that you just can't get to and it causes massive amount of work. But if you've got a little fit and finish work to do, I don't know, we, we're the builder. So that's within scope for us to do. Uh, quick look at our wings, how do they look? They look beautiful. They look in good shape. I would be very surprised if we find anything major out of the ordinary. Um, the only thing that would be major is the fuel tank sealant stuff. We have to check all that. Yep, so we will have to pressure check our uh, fuel tanks. Uh, there's a few yeah. steps that we have to do. We have to get sumps installed. We have to um, 
I'm saying this like I'm an expert. I have not looked at the plans yet, but I do know there's a few steps that we have to do before we pressure test them, but then we'll pressure test it. There's only one step from what I understand that we have to do where we uh, apply sealant. So mm -hmm. that's usually where quick builders mess up is not sealing that right, but we'll we will out. see. Um, <laughs> but they look beautiful. Uh, we kind of looked at it and was like, hmm, are those rivets fully set? And we talked to Vans. Uh, yeah, they're, they're well within mill spec. Uh, maybe we're a little bit on the heavier side on a lot of our rivets. Ours are still within mill spec. We got a great lesson about the mill spec and the range of our rivets. So we've gone back and measured a whole bunch. Um, um, Look, I like to know my rivets are smash yeah, good. But you smash them too much, you lose strength. So there's that sweet spot in the middle. Um, I like it to be just a little bit bigger than the hole. Yep. So, but our rivets are good. We've uh, got on with uh, our, our friend Kevin and uh, builder support and um, got the calipers out, measured a whole bunch, looked at the mill spec, uh, all things we already knew, but it was always good to get that uh, refresher on mill spec. Thanks, Kevin. 10, 15 minutes to get them out and into the garage. Yeah. So here they are, and um, we'll be doing wing stuff here shortly. <laughs> so stay tuned on 14 Victor Echo. The build keeps happening. We're moving along. Don't forget, like and subscribe this video. It does really help us. I think it's down this corner or that corner. It's one of those corners. Click the button for us. Um, it does help us. It tells YouTube that people like this channel, and if people like this channel, it will recommend it to more people. So we do appreciate the like and the subscribe. I promise not to hound you on every video for that so thank you for joining 14 victor echo see you next time all right thank you much thank you appreciate you have fun <laughs> safe drive <laughs>